Well, our catchphrase is a female-led acrobatic theatre company. Yep. I think that's the... But then, you know, it's under constant... Our last show was a circus show with all mixed of circus skills. But I think we ta- we often try to get theatre into the description because we like yeah. to mix it with stories or feelings or emotion. But, you know, what we started as was an acrobatic company. We were all uh, in the same course, which at the time was mm-hmm. a BTEC. In were you in the same arts. year? Or we were in the, you same, all year. In the same year. So. And then, originally, I think Emma and Lena were working We came together. over together from Sweden to go to yeah. the course. Mm-hmm. And then I was in the class, and during the second year, uh, they decided to we work with me. We were Amazing. like, we would like to do a three high, because basically the previous year yeah. group, they were trying to do a three high for their end of year show. And actually, it was, I think, two guys and a girl, and they didn't manage. So Lena being Lena, I was like, I will base you, Emma, and Silga on three high. And we managed. With the acrobalance, you've got to have a base. Mm-hmm. And then, That's right. because yeah. we were a trio, a middle, and a flyer. So, okay, we picked according to size, although Lena was the base, so she's not quite. Or maybe skills as well. I was because I was I had done gymnastics. I was mm-hmm. more used yeah. to kind of jump and do leaps or somersaults or whatever. So, um, and I think that already determines yeah. in a certain way how your physicality, how you present yourself. You're not this pretty little yeah. thing that yeah. jumps around. You know, no offense, but no, you no, know, no, it kind of absolutely. you have to be it's a different style, yeah. there. And then we kind of quickly realize that you know we actually attracted good attention. Like wow you can do that as three and you're not even that different in size mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. not like a massive guy with a tiny girl yeah. the starting point partly was let's do some tricks that they don't expect three women to do mm-hmm. yeah. yeah even yeah. though and, and, and in the combination of bodies that, that mm-hmm. are not expected but i mean i <laughs> did come from quite a radical anarcha feminist background yeah. <laughs> in my teenage education yeah and i mean i was very like i think very much that, like we don't want to do that mm-hmm. we want to be able to be yeah. us and be ourselves and not pretend to be someone else. We don't want to package it a certain way yeah. to be accepted. Yeah. Um, so it was so definitely the, the, the physicality like helped her, but I also think that's partly why we chose that physicality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a yeah. conscious decision to go, we would like to do this as three women, mm-hmm. because at that point people didn't expect it to be sure. so. Yeah. And for me, outdoor arts and, and circus, when, when I started it was actually after having done a lot of like saying, this is wrong, this is, you know, no, 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 no. I was like, let's create something that's the positive. Let's create something that I would like to see. Mm-hmm. And I would like to see three women just doing their yeah. shit without mm-hmm. having to apologize or, yeah. or dressing up for it. Because we're all on the same page as well. What, as mm-hmm. Lena said, what we wanted to say as women on stage or mm-hmm. in training, in a training environment was very much, you know, we're just gonna try this and we want, you know, there's nothing else we wanna say, you know, we just wanna do this and that's what we want to do. I think already put us on a, very, it created a mm-hmm. kind of a strong bond. We did a few different things. We did like some circus festivals. We did some corporate. We did some, but very much, quite immediately went like, oh, we love the outdoor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, Flick Fernando, so mm-hmm. direct, uh, theater director, and who had worked with us at school, she saw our act and came up with the idea for Sprung, which yeah. was our first proper performance. Yeah. Uh, and we created that uh, that winter, and then in 2000 toured it, and that was like a total success. We found a document recently we yeah. made of this and it has like the, the budget <laughs> for, for Sprung actually had the budget like five lines and then <laughs> and then like on the back of it I think or like I know it was the back of an envelope we have like okay Lena has paid out this much, Silva has paid out this much <laughs> and then as soon as we got a gig it was like okay let's pay off what we've individually yeah, paid yeah, and yeah. then if there's some and money left you know let's pay all those people who helped us in kind or if they don't want it like mm. let's put it into like the training. Yeah. And I mean, there was, I mean, I was selling sandwiches on a, in offices on like a really rusty bike. And I mean, we were I all doing things. So you were doing all the t- 100 jobs? All the 100 yeah. jobs. Yeah. But yeah. the thing was from the start, we were running the company ourselves. And I think that was... Yeah. Uh, For a what, long time. What was really That's hard, true. but really paid off. And it was this choice at points of going, this is too much, you know, and, and it takes too much energy from the training. You know, we want to train more, but you have to do all this yeah, administration and... Uh, but on the other hand, he was like, well, do we pay someone else to do it? And then we do the training, but then we don't have, like, we can't afford to pay someone else. Mm-hmm. We don't, you know, we need, we need to have, we need to live. But, but my and, last year yeah. we went to in Germany, my daughter is now big yeah. enough. So my daughter came and babysat her daughter. Isn't that's amazing. That's so amazing. That's lovely, isn't circle. it? Yeah. But it's also the physicality. Nice it's not yeah. easy to, you know, yeah. it's going back to work after having a kid. It's always hard, but then you're going back to like mm-hmm. work where you're like, 
balancing in the air and throwing in the air and just building up the muscles again after like yeah. what's one of the hardest demand on your body. I think the thing with circus and, and our skill, like the acrobalance, in those early years when it was really hard um, to make it, you know, go around, the fact that we had to do the training, mm -hmm. we had to train like three, four days a week to maintain our skills. Yeah. It meant that we had, you know, we had to keep together. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes when I talk with actors, they're coming out and they want to start a company. Mm -hmm. But it's not like they have to meet up every week to do improvisation. Yeah. They should, yeah. but they don't. You know, don't yeah, yeah. So then it's like, they will then choose different things that they do. Mm -hmm. But then it's very easy to separate us, uh, to sort of yeah. slide apart or your, your schedules don't work together mm -hmm. anymore. And so I think sometimes yeah. that the impossibility of the fact that you have to train several hours mm -hmm. a week as yeah. well, is actually what kept Keeps us together. together. Yeah. I think one interesting dynamic we always have between us is even when I was performing, even if when I was the acrobat, is the, is the balance between the skill and the storyline mm. or the expression, mm -hmm. the yeah, choreographic yeah. line. Yeah. Um, where I'm like, oh, I love it. you know, I want to tell this, I want to do that. And so it's like, yeah, but don't forget the skills. We need to spend <laughs> some time on yeah, the skills. Yeah. And you know, and, and but I this think is crazy fire juggler versus gymnast as well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. But I think a lot of the stuff we agree. Even I can't when it's remember a show that thing. I don't think yeah. there's ever been a show that you loved and I hated, or vice versa. Yeah. No, I, that's true. I think we have. Everyone. I wonder if it's like a grown taste because we've yeah. worked together. Yeah. We've seen so many mm. things together throughout the years. Maybe it's a grown taste. 